Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute five minute puppies. They just have a safety pin on the back so you can attach them to your clothing or you can just finish them off to have around your house. Because this black yarn is so difficult to see your stitches, for this tutorial I'm going to be using a gray color just so you can see what I'm doing. If you'd like to follow along with the written pattern, it's available on my website secretyarnery.com. To make your five minute poppies, you will need yarn. I'm using just a regular four weight worsted acrylic, but you could use any yarn you have on hand. You just need black for the center and any shade of red for your petals. I'm using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook, but you could just as easily use a five or a five and a half. I actually thought that was a five when I was crocheting, <laughs> but any hook that goes along with your yarn. The larger the hook, the larger the poppy. You'll need a pair of scissors, a needle for moving one of your ends, and then some way of attaching it, either a bobby pin or a safety pin, if you're gonna be making the attachment to go onto your clothing. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be starting with a gray color yarn, just so you can see my stitches and how I do that center part. So, let's get started. start by making a slip knot any which way we normally do. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook and chain three. One, two, and three. You could also do a magic ring if you want to start that way. Now into our very first chain right on top of our slip knot right down there we are going to slip stitch to form a ring. So just pop that stitch onto your hook. Get yourself situated. You want your tail following your work and you want to form a little U shape underneath your hook like that. Hold it open with your finger and thumb and slip stitch to form a ring and chain one. And into the center of that ring right where you're holding it open, seven single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now slip stitch to our first single crochet to join. That is right over here. So we're going to slip stitch to our first single crochet to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to tie later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now into the second stitch after our join. So here is our join. There is one and here is two. We want to go into that second stitch after the join just like that. Loop of your red on your hook, bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join, drop your tail, and chain one. Now into the very same stitch, one double crochet, and one treble crochet into the same stitch. just like that. One treble crochet into the next stitch, right over there, treble crochet, double crochet, and chain two. One, two. But now we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. We're going to slip stitch right there. So slip stitch into the next stitch and chain two. One and two. Wrap your yarn, one double crochet into the same stitch, one treble crochet into the same stitch, and now we're going to finish that petal into the next stitch. So wrap your yarn and into the next stitch, one treble crochet, one double crochet, 
and chain two. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, slip stitch, and chain two, one and two. Wrap your yarn, one double crochet into the same stitch, one treble crochet into the same stitch, Wrap your yarn twice and into the next stitch, one treble crochet, one double crochet, and chain two, one and two. Into the next stitch, that's right before our join, slip stitch and chain two, one and two. Wrap your yarn, one double crochet. Wrap your yarn twice, one treble crochet. And now into our last stitch, right there, we're gonna finish off that petal. So wrap your yarn twice, one treble crochet. one double crochet, and chain two, one and two. And then we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch to join, just right down here. Slip stitch to join, and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to tie to make a knot, pull your hook up and your yarn through, snug that down to secure. Now flip it over, the tail that went around the center, we can give that one a bit of a pull, just to close up that center of our poppy a little bit, and we want to line up our tails so they are on opposite sides of that center. So I'm going to sew this little tail over to that side, just so it's matching. So just keep it in the red part and just sew it over in all the thick parts of that petal to mirror what those other tails are doing. You want two tails on each side of that center. That's going to hold our pin in place, just like that. So now I have two tails on either side of my center. It doesn't have to be perfect, just in that area. Grab your safety pin or your bobby pin or whoever you're going to be attaching this to your clothing. Now just look at your safety pin. You want to make sure that the part that opens is facing up like that. So thread it just like that and now tie your tails together. They can be nice and tight if you're using acrylic yarn. Give it a nice double tie, there we go. Just a little triple tie just to make sure it stays in place. And then you can go ahead and just cut those tails off. Just like that. And we want to do that again on the top. And there is your super fast last minute puppy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. If you'd like to see more of my work and what's on my hook, check out my weekly podcast in that video right there. Stay hooked.